M3 Bullet is the name, and this is my Black History Month tribute. This time, I'm going to draw and talk about Bass Reeves, the real Lone Ranger. Like, share, and subscribe. Bass Reeves was the best lawman of all time. Bass Reeves was born in Arkansas in July of 1838. Arkansas was a slave state. He grew up in Texas for most of his life. One of his masters, George Reeve, was a Confederate colonel during the Civil War, and Bass was there with them. He claimed to be in the Battle of Pea Ridge in March of 1862. After a fight between him and George, which George got his ass whooped, he ran to Indian Territory, which is Oklahoma these days. Indian Territory was not part of the government. Good news for Reeves because there was no slave laws, so he was free. He became close with the native tribes and became fluent in their languages. The guy was 6'2", and he knew the land and became an excellent tracker, and he became a skilled marksman. He was ambidextrous, meaning he skilled with both hands, and had a fantastic memory. After the 13th Amendment was passed, slavery was illegal. He went back to Arkansas and got married to Neely Jenny in 1864 and had 11 kids. Yeah, you heard me, 11 kids. In the 1870s, he was appointed deputy marshal over the Indian Territory. The judge was Isaac C. Parker a.k.a. the Hanging Judge. He was appointed because he knows the land and speaks their language. He was the perfect man for the job. He became a deputy and had many adventures throughout the West, riding a white horse for 32 years. The man has never been shot, not even once. He was the first black U.S. deputy marshal. He arrested over 3,000 criminals, but he did have some help from a Native American friend, an outlaw named Jim Webb, who was a white supremacist who Reeves put behind bars for murder escaped. Reeves shot Webbs and took his gun. He killed 11 men with that gun. The man was unstoppable and was a master of disguise. One time he disguised himself as a crook hiding from the law to catch two bandits that were hiding out. He snuck in and handcuffed those guys while they were sleeping. In 1907, Oklahoma became a state, and it became one of the states where segregation was legal. And because it was legal, Bass Reed's reputation and hard work went to waste. The respect and fame was taken away from him. He died on January 12, 1910.
I remember doing a Black History Month slideshow on him when I was in middle school. I still have it. Remember when I mentioned he rode a white horse and had a Native American friend to back him up? There was this myth that Bass Reeves was the inspiration for the Lone Ranger. There have been many similarities between the two, and it may not be confirmed, but I know it's true. Bass Reeves was a G. He arrested 3,000 criminals and didn't have a scratch on him. Now that was impressive, and he was doing this for 32 years. Bass Reeves, you are a bad mother. Shut your mouth. I was talking about Bass Reeves. I know most of y'all caught that reference. I know that black folks don't have it easy when it comes to law after what happened months ago. If he knew everything about the human body, he would be more dangerous than he was back then. Bass Reeves should be a name that everyone should know. To me, Bass Reeves was a real-life superhero, busting criminals left and right. He wasn't just fighting for justice, he was fighting for civil rights. The man was a legend, and we should honor his sacrifice. Rest in peace, Bass Reeves.